The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's June 2nd. The year is still 2022. We're on 30 on the dot. <laughs> I need all your like good vibes here, Sean. All, all right. your happy Thursdays. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm pulling those in because um, my vehicle is at half a tank mm-hmm. and I only filled up like two days ago. So that feels awful. You. Uh, yeah. Are you driving out in the boonies? In uh, apparently. I don't feel like I drove any extra than normal. But lo and behold, there's my gas gauge just <laughs> saying I did. Yeah. Um, but then I drove past the gas station this mm. morning. And uh, it's, one seventy four nine. No, that was a great price. God. I I wish it was one seventy four nine. It is now one eighty two nine. Oh, get out of here. One eighty two nine. Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> I know. I I wish I could say I can cut back on driving, but I don't feel like I drive that much. I just live in Craig Wire and work in Stone Creek. <laughs> like it's not even that bad. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Happy Thursday. <laughs> what is the most annoying sound you can think of? Recently, the one that comes to mind is when you're in the office here. Uh-huh. And people have uh, just their speakers on, doesn't matter what volume. And then a reply all comes through, through the company. Because <laughs> then it's just like you hear on all the speakers around the office, just ding, 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 ding. And you're just like, oh, someone must have replied all. Everyone's emails going up. And then another one comes in. Ding, 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 ding. Another one. Ding, ding. And it's just like, oh, we got a reply all chronic problem going on again here within the company. So that's, that's one that pops up recently that I'm just like, I could do without that. Sean, I think we got to get you some help for this reply all <laughs> problem. It's, it's, I it's, need therapy for this. <laughs> it's a reoccurring problem in your life, but not too many others. Um, <laughs> I would say the most annoying sound I can think of is windshield wipers on a drive windshield oh don't like that either i hate that like i oh. will use my windshield wiper when it's raining uh one wipe at a time so that i can choose when i'm ready yeah. because it just never has quite the right frequency for the amount of rain um here's another annoying sound though yeah well wait hold, hold on before you go forward with that windshield wiper one yeah um when it's like when you use your fluid but you're out of fluid oh and then you have to survive three of those dry wipes on your windshield. And it doesn't even matter. It doesn't get the you windshield can't... clean. So well, you're just like, I'm enduring this for nothing. Yeah, like not having windshield wiper fluid and then having to go through not only like probably a streaky windshield because it's just wiping who knows what. But then you have to like survive those three little. And the squeaks. Please stop. Gosh. Okay. Please stop moment. It was last week. We had a fire alarm. But it was a drill. So we're getting a new business. Very exciting here in the Stone Creek Plaza. And they have to do run a fire alarm for a half an hour to make sure everything's working. Apparently, the test failed. Oh, that's so right. So, this for- morning, we're about to have it happen again. <laughs> that's right. I, I read that email yesterday, and I totally just deleted or, like, blocked it out. I just didn't want to believe it. Yeah, my eye's getting ready to twitch. It's going to be worse than the Six windshield minutes. wiper. Six minutes away from a 30-minute fire drill. Yeah, we're six minutes away. Okay. Get ready. I'm sorry if you hear this noise in your cars. Um, It's not your alarm going off. Your car is not failing. It is not on fire. Neither are we. We're fine. (laughs) Kind of. I was on location at Legacy Dodge yesterday and instead of setting up inside, uh, which I did through winter because it's cold and everything, it was so beautiful out yesterday. I was like, I'm going outside and uh, I got to say, just spending that four hours in the sun. I had some shade breaks, but like it was just fantastic. Sean, were you smart about spending the four hours in the sun? Did you wear sunscreen? Oh, yeah. I had my shimmer sunscreen and I was sparkly <laughs> and I was fabulous out there. It was great. Do you think anyone mistook you for a vampire being all sparkly in the sun like that? Are vampires sparkly? <laughs> Twilight ones are. <laughs> <laughs> like, did a, did a fairy dust come like come by and just like throw like sparkles on them? No, I don't know. It's like I, thought, I can't. I thought vampires were like black capes and like in the dark. No, the Twilight ones are like really really good looking, <laughs> and they just live in rainy areas of the world because they shimmer in the sun. Oh, interesting. I need to brush up on my Twilight. Well, no, no one. 
came up to me and asked if I was a vampire. That is what you're asking. Uh, <laughs> some people did like it, though. Some of the salespeople came out and were just like, oh, you're looking good. I was like, thank you. It is the shimmer sunscreen <laughs> that I have. I had to reapply like every hour, every two hours just to be safe. A smart man. Uh, and, and especially on my head, too, because <laughs> I didn't have a chapeau, a hat on or anything. And so I had to just like, I would like take off my glasses, take off my headphones, and I'd just like squirt some. And it'd just be like the full, like <laughs> from my chin all the way up and around to the back of my neck, just applying sunscreen over my entire dome. But <laughs> what um, a sight to see that would have been. Yeah, I got home and I like instantly like fell asleep for a nap though, because spending four hours in the sun will make me a sleepy boy. Aww. Went to Kogany Comedy Night last night. I became the comedian. Whoa, I did not see that coming. <laughs> I know you missed out, Sean. I am funny. <laughs> Hot fire. I can't imagine what those jokes were about that you would sling over there. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite quite like that. But uh, I think some folks who had come out for dinner and they weren't planning on staying for comedy night, they were just in the room. So they got like their tickets in the ballot bin. Oh. And so then by the time it was time to draw these prizes at the end, which were great, by the way, mm. like there was a lot of stuff to be won. Um, a lot of folks had left when they finished dinner oh. before I got to draw their name out. Yeah. Missing out on the good stuff. Yeah. So I am up on the stage and I end up having to like kneel down with my microphone because I can't hold all these great prizes at the same time. <laughs> and I am pulling out number after number of people who left. <laughs> <laughs> so I end up like kind of start making jokes and I'm, I'm like work in the room, Sean. Like I was, <laughs> I was funny. You said everyone left. So who was laughing at your joke? Excuse me. There were. You're like, I was really funny. There was no one there to back it up. But My husband was there. I was roasting them. <laughs> My husband was laughing. The comedians even shared a chuckle. Wow. <laughs> and I did have enough people left to give away all those great prizes, which is just to let you know that next week we'll have prizes again, and you could win something great if you stay till the very end. Are you going to be one of the headliners now that you uh, just absolutely killed it yesterday? I mean, I need some endorsements. I know you weren't there, but please feel free to reach out to them oh. and get me on that roster. <laughs> Steph, I was trying to get in contact with you the other day after we were done your, our shift, but you were just busy running around every like every hour. What were you doing? Yeah, so um, I went to my watercolor painting class. Love it. Uh, yes, and then afterwards I went and bought some flowers for my mm -hmm. flower beds. Yes. Uh, then my friends and I are starting a quilting uh, craft night. Wow. And so I went to the quilting store, store to get some material. Incredible. Um, <laughs> Didn't and, know we had that, but yeah, pretty love cool. that for the community. <laughs> And then uh, it was cheap night at the pool, so I went swimming um, for a discount. All in one day? All in one day. Yeah, I was uh, wow. very, very productive. You know, if you, if I'm, I'm just putting this all together right now. If you, if you listed those activities that you just did and you just put them forward to someone random and be like, how old do you think this person is? <laughs> I'm guessing they say retired and 70. <laughs> Because, okay. like, like, you were going to, like, senior night and getting a like, water aerobics on so your bones are good. <laughs> You're buying quilting things to build who knows what, a blanket maybe? A quilt, yeah, obviously. A quilt, yeah. uh, you're getting plants for your flower bed. Now, that one's not too bad. Uh, what else did you have on there? My watercolor painting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're learning how to do crafts and stuff. Like, you sound like a retired person looking for activities. Yeah, maybe this is just like a senior social. Maybe I just showed up at, at the Golden Year Society and gave them some ideas. It's not all. a bad idea either. You could also do that. You, you'd, <laughs> you'd be a perfect buddy. <laughs> Thanks, thanks. I'm an old soul, Sean. <laughs> Watch some Heartland at night. You got it figured out. Ouch, don't mess with my Heartland. It's so good. <laughs> I've got a feel-good story involving a witch. Yeah, oh, I was going to say you, but no, it's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, this lady's name is Elizabeth Johnson Jr. And uh, 329 years ago. Well, that was a time. She, yeah, right? <laughs> she was convicted of witchcraft. Um, this was during like the Salem witch trials. Oh. And she is the final accused witch to not yet be pardoned. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right? Um, until now. She was just pardoned by an eighth grade class. They did a ton of research for over a year. Wow. Um, learned all about her trial and government and how to make change. 
And then they did just that. School's changed and for the better. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Eighth grade. <laughs> Eighth grade, making waves. So basically their history teacher, whose name is Carrie LaPrere, uh, said they uh, she really wanted to teach them about how they were able to make wow. a difference in the world and to speak up for people who didn't have a voice. Yeah. And so Elizabeth Johnson Jr., who, of course, uh, probably didn't have a voice back in the 1600s, but especially doesn't have one 329 years later after she was... Uh, convicted of witchcraft yeah they were able to get her pardoned from that and just now the students have all of this the tools and skills that they need to to speak up yeah. for people who need help and also to go to the governments and and know oh, that process yeah. so i just feel like all the warm and fuzzies of this teacher <laughs> uh making waves with her class and teaching things that are such life skills to move forward with well i was gonna say teachers nowadays they're just absolutely incredible you have this story here you have the local teachers here uh numerous schools just like getting these kids to do these like science projects that are so innovative meanwhile no shade against any of my teachers but i was like gluing popsicle sticks to like art projects back in eighth grade that's probably a me problem but it's just incredible to see Flying home to Regina next week, Steph, and I'm trying to figure out how to problem solve something that came up okay it's for a wedding i'm only going for like three days and i'm trying to find out how to travel with a suit i've never flown and had to bring a suit with me before. Okay, so can you not just put it in your checked luggage, like in yeah, one of those yeah. suit bags? See, that's that's the logical thing that you would uh, kind of think of, but I'm only going for three days, so I'm not bringing like a giant suitcase. And so usually what I would do, or what I would do for the first time, suit in the suit bag, fold it up, put it in your suitcase, all said and done. But I'm yeah. just gonna bring like a carry-on with like three, four days worth of clothes and then I was thinking, well, then do I just wear the suit on the plane? Oh, that's a tough call. <laughs> I feel like... It's a comfy one. If you're only going for three days, the middle day is the wedding, and the you're literally flying in and flying out on the, the anchor days. On yeah, like side. Friday and Sunday, uh, wedding Saturday. Well, you can't wear your suit on Friday because you're going to be wearing that all day and then you're just going to put it back on the next day. You got to like have a fresh suit. So I think you should wear bummy clothes on Friday, <laughs> bummy clothes on Sunday and use your carry on to keep your suit looking okay, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, if I get it dirty, if something spills on it at the airport. At the uh, the airport way there. See, the way back doesn't matter. The way back doesn't matter. The way there though protect it kind of what are you thinking of wearing it on the way back too because it's not going to fit well, how, carry on now <laughs> you're well, just gonna wear it i'm running days? through the same problems of going there why wouldn't i wear it on the way back i can't just shove it into my carry-on if you're gonna wear it all three days why even bring a carry-on if you're just like <laughs> all right i'm gonna wear this suit the only thing i need is a change of underwear <laughs> you gave me an idea oh, this brings the three pairs of underwear <laughs> and just wear the suit all three days thank you steph perfect <laughs> Tristan speaking. Hey, Tristan. This is Steph and Sean from Mixed Mornings. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> We're doing good. pretty good. Hey, Tristan, we just want to give a big congratulations to you because we run this little contest every month, and it's called the Wood Buffalo Sports Connection Community Champion of the, of the Month. And it is all based on people in the community nominating others who they think are excellent, excellent representatives of our community. And we just want to say for the month of this past month, you are our Community Champion of the Month. Wow, that's pretty cool. It is really cool. I'm I want to read you some. That. Oh, you are welcome. I want to read you some of the things that people said because they just had such good thing, things to say about you. Um, so you sure. are the co-owner and trainer at the Fort Martial Arts. You're a role model and inspiration for everyone you meet. You motivate children and adults to work toward making healthy, positive goals, not only in jujitsu but in everyday life. You're a double gold world jiu-jitsu champion and somebody knows you really well saying great things about you continues to compete winning gold at every competition you inspire and support other athletes um, of all ages you're just amazing and honestly you got so many <laughs> nominations saying the same thing over and over again just how humble you are but determined as an athlete and you're making a difference in so many kids and adults lives and people just love and appreciate you so much wow it's amazing to hear guys thanks a lot and then on top of everything, we're also uh, gifting you $50 to Northern Life by DWW and a $200 Visa gift card on top of that all for just being a bright light in the community and especially in the sports <laughs> community as well. 
<laughs> Wicked. Thanks, guys. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So keep up the great work, Tristan. We appreciate you. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Just okay. I'm, I'm actually just in uh, California right now, just getting ready to do the World Championships. So oh, my God. Get at a weird time. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah. That's Taking an odd time. But best of luck. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Get it. Get out there. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.